Well, Eric, good morning from India. It's about nine o'clock in the morning. I feel like I'm coming at you from the future. We're in Delhi right now, which is the capital of this country. And we are getting ready to get on a flight to come back home, but we just could not leave this country without going to the Taj Mahal. The drum beat of the city moves in waves, alternating between the past and the future. Agra was once the cultural center of the ancient Mughal Empire. You haven't seen something as glorious. Even today, through the haze of smog, the history of its people looks over the bustling city. It is 104 degrees right now, but as you can see, it is not stopping all of these people from waiting in line to see the Taj Mahal. More than 8 million people visit this monument every year, and many of them wait for up to 10 hours just to get in. The Emperor Shah Jahan built this shrine for his favorite wife who died while delivering his 14th child. This romantic monument is a mausoleum, built as a symbol of eternal love. Today, both husband and wife are entombed here. My first thought was, I hope my wife doesn't request the same thing. Today, the governor and first lady visited the ancient wonder. The governor astonished by its near perfect symmetry. It's remarkable that, uh, that you could have that level of detail in that era when they did not have access uh, to the same type of equipment or machinery that we have uh, and, and to see it uh, built with such uh, precision, such beauty uh, and it stand the test of time and still remain as remarkable today as it was in the 1600s. The Taj Mahal took 22 years to build and finally opened to the public in 1653. Legend has it 20,000 workers built this project by hand, using more than a thousand elephants to transport the white marble that still gleams from the shrine. Uh, it is impressive beyond words. Uh, it's a treasure for India, it's a treasure for the entire world. A treasure that has stood still for centuries as the world moves around it. Our visit endears our hearts to India forever. Puja Lodi at 13, Eyewitness News.